Hi, it's Agnes and I've got a success story number 42 from Angie. Angie says, Agnes, I'm so excited to be writing to you about my own success story. You might want to grab a tea. This is going to be a long one. I am Angie from Colorado in the United States and I've been with my person for eight years. We have a four-year-old son and we live together. In February 2018, everything went horrible and my person broke up with me, but we continued to live together because I stay home and take care of our son. I felt like I wasn't even second best, maybe third or fourth best. I was insecure, needy and not and very angry, but I'm very lucky I didn't invite a third party in. I was heartbroken. I begged and pleaded for him to take me back. I could have been the poster child of what not to do to get your person back. I did everything wrong. I pushed him further and further away. I was so needy and over contacted him and just kept bugging the shit out of him. I was a mess. I was crying every day and I just couldn't get it together. My person told me he would be civil with me because of our son, but he wanted nothing to do with me and no longer loved me. It was so hard seeing my person every single day, but knowing he wanted nothing to do with me. In April, one of my Facebook groups was doing those pendulum questions and I asked, will me and my person get back together? Lame, I know. And the lady responded, yes, but do a forgiveness prayer. And I was like, what the heck is a forgiveness prayer? And I started searching the internet and I came across the Ho'oponopono prayer. I have heard of the prayer, but I've never done it before. And this is when I came across Agnes doing a YouTube about it. I started watching all the videos you did and I was so shocked when I came across everyone as you pushed out. It was a huge aha moment for me, but I have to admit it took me a while to accept everyone as you pushed out. Yeah, I think it is that for everyone, Angie, isn't it? Because you just can't believe it when you first hear that concept. I kept saying, yes, but he did this or yes, but he did that. But it was all me. And when I finally realized that, everything started to make sense. So around the middle of April, I started doing on yes meditation videos. I did a couple of self-love and one about my person, like how to connect or send love to my specific person. I would try a different one each night for my person, but always I did a couple of self-love ones no matter what. My birthday rolled around in April and my person made me dinner and even got me a cake. We were making a little progress and I had only been doing the meditations for less than a week. A couple of nights a week, I would even fall asleep with the Ho'oponopono prayer playing. It was the hour long one. I also read the book, Love Yourself Like Your Life Depends On It, recommended by Agnes. All day long, I told myself, I love myself, I love myself. Even my four-year-old started saying it. I finally settled on three meditations a night. I did a self-love, first best and the whispering technique combo, and then love, trust, and sexual fidelity. And the last but not least, one radiating love to your person. Wow, Angie, you had a good routine. I also started living from the wish fulfilled. And I also just surrendered. I knew he would be back to me when the time was right. I had been doing them for about two weeks and lo and behold, his text messages started to change. He was talking to me more and being nicer. I could feel the shift and I gave gratitude for it, but I kept doing my meditation each night. My person happens to DJ a couple of nights a week and he gets home late and I'm always asleep when he gets home. One night I accidentally locked the screen door and he called me to unlock it and let him in. When I unlocked the door, he grabbed me and kissed me and told me he wanted me back and that he missed me and we got back together that night and we were together about three weeks. Didn't feel right, felt a little forced and we broke up again and that was okay. I still felt like I had done more, more self-love, rewind. I still felt like I had to do more self-love and I still had a lot of anger about our relationship even though I knew everything was me pushed out. I did a ton of revision work not just on our relationship, but for previous relationships and life in general. I worked even harder with the self-love. We had been broken up for about three weeks when I went to visit my parents for a week. While I was there, I had a blast. I haven't laughed that much or that hard in such a long time. I felt like a new person. I couldn't really get very good cell phone reception there, so me and my person really didn't speak a lot while I was there. 
The day I got home, we got back together and we've been together for almost two months now. We even celebrated our eight year anniversary. Beautiful. I still have to do self-love every single day and I still have some things pop up that I need to work on. I'm not going to lie. I did a lot of self-love and I really needed it. And I had to really work on my thoughts, but I had, but had he not broken up with me, I would not have realized the power I have inside me to change my life and situations and start loving me again. Oh, I want to give you, Agnes, a huge thank you. You have changed my life in a wonderful way. Thank you, Angie. I've done LOA for many, many years, but your YouTube channel has really changed my way of thinking and introduced me to Neville Goddard. Excellent. Much love to you and you are more than welcome to share my story. Angie, that's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And you know what's interesting is when you said you first sent it to me and I hadn't seen it and then you said you had new developments and it was probably a much better timing that, you know, we're doing it now. So Angie, thank you so much and lots of love to you and how wonderful that you're not only back with your specific person but your child has got the family in a much better state than before. So that's wonderful. You know, it's so, it was so interesting to me that, you know, when we want a specific person and it goes badly, it really, the specific person shows us so many things about ourselves that we've never really dealt with and looked at. And all that stuff got went out at them and then they rejected us, pushed us away, and then we were able to, in that time, regroup and really work on that old stuff that's been there a lot for a lot of us since childhood. So Angie, thank you so much. Lots of love to you and oh, fabulous. Let me know if you want to do an interview.